everyone. Selena here. I know that it's been a while since I've been on here, but I want to share some things that I have been doing lately. So today I want to talk about Qigong. So for some of you, you may already be aware of this and may already be incorporating this into your life. For me, this is new and it has been absolutely profound that I have to share with everyone else. So what I'm getting ready to do actually is a hundred day challenge because what I experienced was incredible. And then I thought, oh, I need to share this with others so others can join me on this 100 days. So I want to talk about a little bit about what Qigong is and then share through this exercise that blew me and my kids away at what we uh, experienced just over the course of a few seconds. So first off, Qigong is a more health related um, exercises to help tap into that energy inside of us. So energy is not necessarily all good and bad. It's just that we may need it or it transforms into different forms. So what energy may be helpful for us to healing may not be, you know, things that are not helpful for us may be helpful for other things. For instance, oxygen, right? So the plants really survive and they can take that carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen for us. And so it's a nice symbiotic relationship. So understanding that we have energy and part of Qigong is helping to transform and get rid of and to release that excess energy, the energy that we don't need anymore so that we can welcome in the healing energy that we do need. It also helps to tap into the different energy points and meridians in our body. For instance, like our lung health, it's going to start at your fingertips and kind of work its way up through to the lungs. And so that's going to help activate healthy lung function. So we can tap into those meridians. We can strengthen our lung function and our breathing and those sorts of things. And we're going to do an exercise actually that's surrounding exactly that. So the other part I want to share with you guys just real quickly is just the very basics and kind of understanding Qigong at, from a fundamental level and this energy sort of transfer. So we take our hands and we kind of put them out in front of us where we're like, we're holding a ball where our fingers are spread out. It doesn't take very long for us to start to feel this tingling type sensation in our fingers and especially like our fingertips. However, if we take our hands and close them up, like, you know, get them closed and kind of tight together, we don't have that same sensation in our fingertips, that tingling kind of thing, because we've closed up the energy channels. When we open them, we open those meridians, we open that energy flow, the ability for that energy to flow. So that's part of what Qigong, qi, yeah, Qigong does. And I apologize for totally butchering the pronunciation on this, but the Qigong, that's what it does is it helps to get these energy points flowing. And there's just really a few key kind of energy points that have the greatest impact. We have tons and tons of meridians and energy points throughout the body. However, from what I've found thus far, there's really just a a relatively small few that have the most biggest impact that you kind of get that biggest bang for the buck, so to speak. So the one we're going to do today, which is super exciting, is one regarding our lung function and breathing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some deep breaths, we're going to tap into those meridians, and then we're going to take a couple more deep breaths to see the difference of our breathing just over a few seconds. So I want you to sit and we're going to, or you can stand, sit either way. Um, we're going to breathe through our nose with our mouth closed, like some deep breaths, like as deep as you can do. And then I want you to, as you do that, I want you to feel like the pressure or the tightness or, you know, the difficulty in breathing through those, like the clog or how, you know, just kind of make notes of what you're experiencing and what you're feeling in those deep breaths. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the left side. We pretty much always start on the left side. We're gonna take our hand and kind of cup it. We're gonna start at the shoulder and work our way down. We're going to do this five times over the course of about five seconds for each arm. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Now let's do the right arm. One, two, three, four. Now let's take those same two deep breaths. I don't know about you, for me, it is so much easier. I am just blown away. Every single time I do this, I'm blown away. The first time my kids and I did it, we were like, what just happened? Wow. So 
that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm doing this next hundred days. I found a hundred day challenge. I'm like, I am totally up for that. And I want to invite all of you guys to join me. So I'm going to, um, there's a link that you guys can join in on that challenge. And I hope that you guys will. And if not, I encourage you to, you know, practice you know, these kind of healing methods or other healing methods that just are natural. They're not, you know, putting in drugs or supplements. Like, you know, I, I I'm all about supplements, but you know, sometimes we kind of overdo it. We just kind of release this energy and let the energy to transform. We can get rid of the energy. We don't need that excess energy that we're carrying around. So we can open up spaces for new energy to come in and help spread the energy so that others can use that other excess energy it just is going to help everyone um, in, in so many different ways. So I am excited and I hope that you are too. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. You all take care.